All right. All right. Hey, everybody. Joy here. Isn't this the craziest place to be? <laughs> it makes me look like I'm 20 feet tall because of this door. I'm really not. I'm going to get up close to it so you can see. This goes out into my attic, and it is a short door. It's like five foot five, which is what I am. But when I get in front of it, it makes me look taller than the door. How crazy is that? So, my chair has wheels, so pardon me while I roly poly around. Let me get down a little bit. I want to show you the woven version of the knit black and white blouse that I showed you uh, the other day. Now, if my eyes look puffy and my nose looks runny, it's because my eyes are puffy and my nose is runny, okay? So try to overlook that. I've taken a day quill and a Benadryl. Um, I have no idea what's causing the allergy reaction this morning. Maybe I've sewn so long I'm allergic to it. Who knows? Anyway, Joy here. It's Friday, May 1, 2015. And I spent a day and a half on this little number. You can see it's an asymmetrical neckline, which is something very new and different for me because I'm a very, very even type person. I had to be taught that uneven and odd numbers are supposedly more attractive to the eye or something than even numbers. I don't get that. God gave you two eyes. He gave you two boobs. He gave you two legs. He gave you two arms. He didn't give you one head, but whatever, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. But I think I did manage to put an odd number of buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did put an odd number of buttons on this little number. Now, I really like it, although I have had some issues. I'm going to tell you, I've been telling you about sleeves, and I've been working on sleeves. And I found out that I needed to measure for the height of my sleeve cap. And so now I'm measuring six and a half inches and adding uh, extra fabric up at the top so my sleeve doesn't hang on my shoulders and it comes down further on the side. Most of my sleeves are like this. And I thought that's the way they were supposed to be. <laughs> but actually, I guess they're supposed to be straight across your arm. This one might not be perfectly straight either. So these buttons up the front, let me see if I can not expose myself completely. See how it buttons? And it buttons the whole way down. Now, I wasn't able to figure out how to make it button the whole way. So I could just unbutton it, open it up, and take it off. It only unbuttons down here to the hip where it attaches at the side seam. So I have to unbutton it and take it off over my head. So you designer people out there, tell me how to fix that. And I will. Now, I had another problem with the sleeves. And I want to point it out to you guys so you don't make the same screw up I did. I told you about measuring your sleeve cap height from right here at the underarm point without seam allowances, although that line probably didn't make any difference. Measure from here up to here without the seam allowance for your cap height. Well, I did that, but when I did, I added on up here at the top, I also added on a little bit over here on the sides. Big mistake. You don't need it on the sides. You only need it at the tippy, tippy top, okay? Now, Glenda has an article on that, and I'll find the post and, and put a link to it in this post today. But um, <clears throat> she shows you to add it just at the top. But I didn't have that article then, and I didn't know. So I have since cut it off. I had added on over here on both sides. I have since, since cut all that off. So I only added the tippy top. Another thing is I wanted to show you how I drew this. I was watching Peggy Sagers one night. I don't remember which thing. It was one of her um, fit to stitch videos. Um, I don't remember what the title was. Hmm. It's on YouTube. You don't have to buy it. It's on YouTube. And it showed in the background. Let me see. Was she showing how to move the bus dart? I think she was showing how to move the bus darts around. And in the background, on the different mannequins that are in the background, there's a whole bunch of different blouses. And one of them I just love. So while I was sitting there in bed with my computer in front of me watching her, I pulled this pad out of my nightstand and I tried to draw what I saw. So this is what I saw, but this is not what I'm wearing. <laughs> what I saw 
had black over here on the side, black over here on this side, and if this was pink or white, this was either pink or white, and this was either pink. Let me see, I wrote it down. This was white, this was purple, this was black, and this was black. Well, <clears throat> when I made my design, I couldn't figure out how she made the sides black. Duh, I should have known. But I couldn't figure it out. So I made mine the same on the sides as the front, okay? I went back later and I thought, well, how did she do that? And so I went back and um, she actually pointed to the blouse and talked about it. And what she has here are princess seams. So obviously the line isn't clear over here by the armpit. The line is up here by the boob. Okay, so there's a princess seam here and a princess seam here. Now my version, I had to put a bust dart here and a bust dart here. Now in this solid blue, you can really see the bust dart, and I don't like that. Plus, it's a little too high. So I'm going to take this off when I get through making this video, and I'm going to move this bust dart down a little bit and shorten it a little bit. This side, it doesn't show, nobody can see it, so I don't care. Now, I made the knit the other day, and the knit just has a solid stripe on the back. It has the, uh, let me see, this piece here that was polka dots, I think, and then this piece here was stripes and the whole back was solid. Well, on the one that buttons, I wanted to put sleeves in it. And I couldn't figure out how to do the sleeves. Do you see how I did the sleeves, how cute? This is the print and this is the solid. Well, I decided that that would look really stupid in the back. If the back was just one collar and you saw me walking down the street and you came up behind me and you would think, well, boy, that woman must have run out of material sleeve doesn't match the other one. So, I decided to make the back like the front. So, the back is, I guess what you'd call color blocked, so my sleeves make sense, okay? I don't know if anybody in the whole world cares one width or another, <laughs> but that's what I did. So, fun project. I'm really liking this draw style and trying to make it, of course, out of my SureFit designs. Now, this is my SureFit designs blueprint that I traced. And you can see you have to have a whole front to do this. So, you have to draw um, another side to your front. You mark center front, and then you can start drawing your style lines, your pleats or your tucks or your your color blocking or whatever. Lots of fun. I had, of course, do the same thing to the back and make a solid back in order to do this to the back. But it was fun! I feel like a designer. I don't know how goofy I look with the offset neckline, but I've seen a whole lot worse. I tell you a style I just hate <laughs> is those evening gowns that have one long sleeve over here, and over here it's strapless or it just has a skinny strap. Hate it, hate it. But this is my version of asymmetrical. So, hope you like it. And I'll let you go because you know it takes a thousand hours to upload these videos down here. And besides, it's almost time for my lunch shake. Hey, I've lost a total of 12 pounds. Yes, I have. I took the blouse out of my closet this morning that I made a couple years ago using SureFit Designs. And I had to take it in an inch on each side seam and a half inch up the center back seam. Thank goodness it had a center back seam. Otherwise, it looked like I was just floating around in it. So, exciting. So, I need to hurry up and make some more blouses. So, I'm going to let you go for today. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye!